Jamie Roberts was a student at Fareham College and I knew him personally as a friend trying to help him. He came from Stubbington. He had a heroin addiction problem and supplied drugs to people of his age in Stubbington and Fareham, ranging from LSD, cannabis, heroin and cocaine. He was well known and a likeable person. I write about the help that he gave me in my book, The Fall, Desperation and Recovery, which is my ongoing story of Converted on LSD Trip, which is my first book published whilst working at Fairham College. And ironically, the principal refused to write a forward to the book, saying he would have nothing to do with the book, either privately or publicly, that overtly refers to drug taking. He had judged the book by its cover. And more recently, Horstal Boys. His father was John Roberts, who was a senior police officer for the drug squad in Hampshire, but his son had become a drug addict, injecting heroin at the age of 17 whilst living in Stubbington. I interviewed Jamie on video, and we made an excellent video seeking to warn young people of the dangers of drugs. It was Jamie's wish to use the video for this purpose. Jamie knew the work that I was doing in telling my story, and offered to help me with the artwork to make attractive presentations. Jamie had seen my original video of the drugs problem in Stubborn Village and he knew all the young people there, except they were younger than him. He was 22 years old when making the video. There is a drug no, problem really in Stubbington. Yeah. Really? It should be resolved because we hate drugs. We, we do, never we do are in our totally lives. against drugs. And it needs sorting and um, I would like you to cut now, please. When I informed the three schools in the village, the police and the news, I was ignored and the Hampshire County Council dismissed my findings saying the kids were playing up to the camera and there was no problem. In the end, I sent a copy of the video to Prince Charles and he wrote back to me, a very encouraging letter thanking me and encouraged me in the work that we were doing. Jamie said they would all have known him as he was a very well-known deer in the village. Before I made this video, I went with Jamie Roberts' father to London on the Kilroy show as they were wanting people with experience to share their experiences of the misuse of drugs with young people. Soon after we made the video with Jamie and his life, part one, part two, and Chasing the Dragon, Jamie died of an overdose in his bath at home. Since Jamie's death, young people have died of heroin overdoses in Stubbington Village. I've had one of Jamie's colleagues, who too was a drug dealer in Stubbington, who had been sent to prison for that offence, who too had become a heroin addict. He had asked me to help write his story to warn young people of the dangers of these dangerous drugs and the slippery slope that low-class drugs lead to. So please watch the video of Jamie Roberts 1 and 2 and Chasing the Dragon and get a copy of my book, Borstal Boy, or the older copy converted on LSD Trip and come to our punk rock opera Borsa Boy, performed by the Asylum Seekers. This video with Jamie Roberts was made after he had seen my original video, Stubbington Village, A Drug Problem, and had been circulated to Andale, Hammond Crofton and Mean Cross schools, including the police and the Fairham News. They were all informed, but no steps were taken to deal with the problem. I was also informed by Hampshire County Council by those who had received funds from government to deal with this kind of problem that these kids were just playing up to the camera. It was over exaggerated and there was no problem at all and no action was taken. Our punk rock opera tells of my story as written in Borstal Boys and is intended to encourage people to read my book which warns of the dangers of drugs and crime amongst young people.